back with more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is episode 6 of season 6. Um, and I think this is an episode I've been waiting for since the show got renewed for another season. I actually knew this was coming. Um, I'm terrified. I'm very excited, also very nervous. And I say that a lot about episodes of this show, going into them. Um, but genuinely... I just don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this. Um, I haven't watched that scene in the season 5 finale um, since the first time, which you can watch the reaction to. Um, took it really, really well. Um, uh, I just... It physically pains me to see Fitzsimmons in pain and in torture and arguing and I feel like that's everything this episode is but I know this needs to happen because I think I'm hoping this is the episode where they can like confront all their issues and heal and begin or at least begin to heal from them um but I'm nervous I'm fucking nervous um because I hate pain well I hate their pain because they're cinnamon rolls and they deserve the world um and I love them so much. They're my favourite TV couple of all time. Um, Fitz is my favourite fictional character ever. Um, and Simmons is up there too. Um, Ian DeKeistag is my favourite actor. Elizabeth Henstridge is fucking phenomenal as well. And I'm really excited because I know this episode is going to be a showcase of that, that talent that they have because they are fucking unstoppable. Um, one of the best things about growing up in the UK um, is the fact that I got to see Ian in Combination Street when he was like a nearly a teenager, I suppose. I was quite young, um, but it was the time when my family watched it, and I remember watching Elizabeth in Hollyoaks um, back in the day. I remember that very well. Um, there was a time when I got really into soaps. Don't judge me. Um, there's even a time, if you're from the UK, um, and you know there's a soap called Doctors. I even got that, I got addicted to that for a time. That's how deep I got into the whole soap addiction thing. Um, I say don't judge me, you can judge me because it's awful that <laughs> that happened. Um, but I remember seeing them um, in those soaps and to see them in this now and to see Ian in like Overlord um, and Lost River and not a happy ending, or not another happy ending um, and see Liz doing all her directing stuff um, I'm so proud of them, I don't even know them, it's, it's this very strange feeling um, but I know they're going to absolutely rock it in this episode and they're going to fuck me up and I'm here for it, but I'm also dreading it. Um, which is kind of the deal with Ends of Shield, um, particularly after season one. Um, but yeah, we kind of know a few things about who could be showing up in this episode. I'm desperate to find out about that little girl in the promotional pictures. Who the fuck is she? Who the fuck is she? Is she their daughter? Is she young Gemma? I don't know, I've been going back and forth. Right now I'm thinking young Gemma, but asked me a couple of hours ago I'd have said, oh yeah, it's definitely their kid. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm excited. I will probably cry because I've been waiting for this reunion for like over a year and ooh, I just know it's gonna deliver, but it's also gonna fuck me up. Um but I'm excited. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Pray for me. Oh god, I'm so fucking nervous. <gasps> Make out. Get mad again. And then checking to see if they're not holograms. Yeah! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna cry. How are you here? That, of course, is the question. Oh, fuck off. Every memory shared. That's a bit intrusive, and it can't be safe. No. Oh, God, Fitz is going to find out everything. But the problem is difficult. The universe can't stop us, because 
We survived the bottom of the Atlantic. We've crossed the He's Arctic. He's again. It's a speech. All at once. <laughs> Just to be together. So, a love like that, stronger than any curse. Oh my God. Stop a ball. This is why I can't live another day without you. Same. Same. I'm asking you, Gemma Simmons, will you marry me? Absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> okay, can the whole episode just be this? Have to admit. Not the fucked up shit. Oh, they look so happy. <laughs> Fuck, I've missed them. So start at the beginning of the future. Can I just say that spread looks fucking fantastic. I'm so hungry. Stop it! I don't know why you won't just tell me. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, it is young Jenna. Holy shit. I've always wanted to see stuff like this with these two. I'm not afraid. I'm observing. Very <gasps> distant. That accent. Fuck. It's about a boy in his imaginary uh -huh. friend that lost on the star. How much do I have to pay to get a copy of this fucking book? <gasps> She's in it too. Daisy's a bunny. <laughs> I love yeah, her love of like science and oh Perhaps my god. They are the answer. No, Messi, we do not play with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are being the absolute worst. <laughs> you are being, without a doubt, <laughs> the supreme absolute worst. You are a butt face. Oh, that's charming. <laughs> what is that? I love this so much. What are you hiding? <laughs> I love that even like bickering like a married couple. It was possible, you little... When one of them's a child. <laughs> Go up. I could boot up an LMD. <gasps> Maybe Ada. Oh, that bitch. She could really handle the computation. Don't you dare. Uh, <laughs> I knew that would get you back. Please, not this memory. If you're ready to see him. By the way, we understand. What's going on, Mac? Oh shit. Oh no. We're here and now. Preparations are being made. Oh my god, no. Oh no. Are they gonna tell his mother? Oh god. Oh god, I don't think I can watch this. Oh, sweetheart. Oh my god. Oh no. Just the thought of him in there. Oh, God. And you died to help break Kate. You died a hero. <sighs> I think I'm gonna pass out. Same. Mac took your death very hard. Demanded a ceremony. <sighs> but he was also the first one to help me retrofit the Zephyr for the search. Oh, God. <sighs> no. No, I don't want you to see this part. I wanted to tell you the right way. Oh no. There was a lot of death, yes, but there was beauty too. What? There's more death than this. Oh, he doesn't know about Carlson. Oh no, fuck a duck. And to see him. Oh my god. <laughs> This is like a hundred times worse than I thought it would be. You did the same thing. That's too much. I, I gotta get over here, that's too much. Oh, fix. I love how she was like talking through the memory. I thought that was very cleverly staged. You're late. Oh, good to see you too. Oh my god, I've yeah, wanted this sorry, it's just you for six fucking years. Nice you should see my room. <laughs> I mean, yeah, whenever, if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for, thanks for coming over. Are oh, we so nervous? I, I think I think I need some help cleaning them up. I just I haven't slept. I'm so happy we're getting this. And what problem are we solving? Oh god, this is really getting to me. It depends. I remember this 
be in the night where I went from being excruciatingly uncomfortable in your presence to perfectly at ease. I remember it's the night I put you in the friend zone. <laughs> and I also remember how manic you were. It's the night he fell in love but didn't realise it. Yes, it's just a tick away from madness. Yeah, but stop talking about madness and really Oh, crazy. monkeys! I think about the hell that you went through and the pain of not being there. Slow down, Fitz. And enough an entire race of crime. Oh, he needs to stop that. torturing himself. He can stop crack. That's ludicrous. I know you've been oh. him. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. He's been trapped inside your mind. Uh, hey, stop. And now we're trapped inside your mind with him. They needed to address this. They need to tackle this. Leopold is coming. Oh, shit. I wish he wasn't so good as the doctor, because then they would stop bringing him back. Oh, God. I give them both the biggest fucking hug. Strange noise. Oh, shit and piss. Oh, uh, what the? F oh my god, it's like a combination of loads of things. Uh, same. She has like gold on her forehead from like season five, and she's wearing the thing, her outfit, she got trapped in Maveth on. <laughs> you both do. We all fucking need therapy. I had no idea you were holding on to all that. What's the point? Don't let anyone know that's the whole idea. You are so English. Yeah, that's a very English thing. I do that. There's a problem. You not heard the story. Yes, I heard the story, so many <gasps> No, is that my season one outfit? Ah! A look. Iconic. Thank you for coming in. Of course, sir. Oh, holy shit. I'm Agent Gemma Simmons. I thought you were one person. That's how everyone talks about you. Fitzsimmons, the brain. Topped out of your class after being the two youngest. Oh my ever god. Well, there can only be one youngest, sir. I've also recommended you for my team. The field team. Ah, oh, back when they were honor. so fucking innocent. Thank you for this Do you remember when they were the yeah, fucking comic relief? I, I cannot express how much I love this. I, I love these characters so fucking much. Chin up, Fitz. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> well, maybe now you can tell. <laughs> I can't believe they somehow made Elizabeth Henstridge look disgusting. I don't think it was possible. Ooh, ow. Crack that neck. <gasps> the converse and everything. Yes. Iconic. I'm gonna hollow you out. Yeah, thank you. Gemma. No. You caused me. I bet this isn't the first time she's choked him. Their minds are at war with themselves. They're in the red. I know, and I don't care. <sighs> they, could end they are their own worst enemies. And you get nothing. They're the best and worst things about each other. <gasps> Oh my god! I would absolutely trade places for both of them. Not a shadow of a doubt. They better have the happiest fucking season after this. Psychically linked. <laughs> Shoot the bitch. <gasps> oh my god, yes. Daisy, fuck me up. Oh yes, oh yes. Quake that bastard. <laughs> I hope your suit is creased. Glad you're okay, Turbo. Turbo, fuck off! Ow! They're into each other. I love it. They're meant to be together no matter what. Oh, don't bring up that shit. Who turned out to be high, by the way? Oh, and also.
also, are we sure that that happened after you slept with oh him? Oh, my God. Because, hey, the jury's still out on that oh, one. Oh, you want to go there? At least he was a person. You built a robot. <gasps> Fuck, no. That don't bring up all this the shit. They need to get all this out, even though it's completely destroying me and I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> <gasps> no! Don't bring that up. Oh god, that scene. My damage comes from you! Oh, my pain comes from you! And I'm a lot of one to save you! I'll save you every time or I'll die trying! I don't care! Me too, because I love you! No, I love you too! Then why are we yelling? I don't know! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, that was so good. 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 I love them with my heart and fucking soul. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, oh wow. Didn't know you like that. Don't know you do that. Show it. Show it, you cowards. Hmm. We're obviously made for each other. Mm -hmm. And. Agreed. Now and forever. Oh, the universe couldn't keep me from you, Gemma Simmons. Oh my god. I'm the luckiest man on any planet. You are. Don't fucking forget it. Well. Fuck off! They were about to smooch. Oh. <gasps> Enoch. Ah, oh, Enoch, yes. I have taken bold action. Yes. I would happily embrace Fitzsimmons. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for him to meet Deke. Deke needs to be in this more. He's been in one episode this season. He's okay. He's not. Oh my okay. God. He's the ones who did it. They're, they're here. Here, yeah. <laughs> How I'm going to edit that down to 10 minutes, I don't know. It's 5.24am and I just got done editing. It was very fucking hard. But at the point of the video you'll be watching this, I've done it somehow. So congratulations to future me. Um, that was fucking everything. My... Dream and my nightmare rolled in one because I always hate it when they bring up the whole thing with Will and Ada and all that shit they've been through. But they, I love that they had their grievances and I feel like that was the proper fresh start that they needed. I feel like, you know, they've had like arguments and stuff over the years um, and that was all their arguments kind of rolled into one and I feel like they can truly move on and heal now and I feel like they really handled like the whole mental health thing and tackled that head on and dealt with it. Um, man, that was definitely my favourite of the season so far. I think one of the best episodes I've ever done, if not the best, because that was everything, everything. <sighs> What's inescapable is my love for inescapable. I cannot, oh. I literally, I made half a page of notes. I normally write about two, three lines an episode of notes. I've written one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 lines <laughs> for this episode. Um, where do I begin? Where do I begin? I, I just don't know. If you've seen my reactions, you know how I feel about Fitzsimmons. You know how I feel about Fitz and Simmons as individuals. These characters mean so much to me and this relationship means so much to me. Um, I definitely talked about that a lot in the episode, um, uh, the reaction to the 100th episode, um, where I completely fucking lose it at like 4am. Um, and instead I'm losing it at 3am today, so progress in like the year or so since that episode aired. Um, man. Ian DeKeistecker and Elizabeth Henstridge are fucking phenomenal 
Like, give them the Emmys. Give them Oscars. Give them awards they're not even eligible for. I don't care. I'll vouch for them. Um, who do I have to bribe to make it happen? Like, fuck. They should have already gotten Emmys, let's be honest. But, oh my god. They had to portray, like, so many different versions of themselves just in this one episode. In 40 minutes. Like, the talent. The talent jumped out. Um, and on it, it's such a genuine pleasure to watch them perform week after week. This whole cast are great. I love them all to death. That's not a secret, but Ian and Liz, there's something about them and something about them together. Just like the characters, I think it's the same with the actors. Just put them together and poof, magic. Um, magic is real in this, in this fucking episode. Oh, fits so eccentric, man. Kills me every time. Um, so yeah, I love that we got the proper reunion we deserved. Um, both in this like frameworky kind of thing, and then in real life at the end. Um, I loved, you know, even it was quite a wholesome start to the episode almost with them like having the food and stuff, and just like casually chatting and catching up. I loved that. I could have watched that for forty minutes. Um, I like that there was actually a surprising amount of humour in such a devastating and heartbreaking episode, um, which I think is testament to the writing um, and the performances of everyone, you know, because I feel bad that I don't know the guy's name, he plays Enoch, but his delivery on like every single line is like god tier. He's so good. Um, but obviously they both had, you know, Gemma and Fitz both had some great lines in this episode as well. Um, and as always, the actors fucking killed it. Um, so yeah, the hobby union was great. The pain is immeasurable that I feel. I actually, I'm very proud that I got through that. <laughs> like, I, I was genuinely like, I'm not sure if I could do this. When the scene with the body bag, I, I very nearly turned off. I very nearly had to like, go to bed and come back and watch it in the time because I could not deal with that very well. I have a weird thing with death. I've had a lot of deaths in my family in recent years, um, and I'm not very good at processing it now. Um, I'm very much like Gemma, being the English thing. I hold it all in. I know that. It's a big problem that I have. I hold it all in. I don't let my feelings out, ever. I just don't do it. Um, unless I'm crying in reactions, obviously. Um, so I'm very much Gemma in that sense. <clears throat> it, he, you know, Fitz was absolutely right. It's a very English thing to do. Um, I absolutely kind of hold that all back. Um, and yeah, I lost family members a few years ago, very close to them, and some recently I've lost as well. Um, I haven't really processed them, you know, losing them. Um, and when you become so attached to these characters, well, like I am with like Fitz and Simmons, but Fitz is, you know, my absolute favourite of all time. To see what happened to him at the end of season five, I was not okay for a very long time. Um, and I know that sounds really sad or weird because it's just a fictional character, but I see so much of myself in Fitz, and I this relationship gives me so much hope for me. Um, so imagine having a love like that. Fuck. Um, I can only dream um, as I sob into uh, my cup of tea over there. Never mind. Crippling loneliness aside, <laughs> um, that was just a nicer part of the episode that I really related to, so I just thought I'd talk about that. Um, yeah, I liked everything with Enoch, kind of getting a bit of redemption, I think, for his actions at the last episode. I loved that. Can't wait to see where to go next with that. Based on like some of the like, synopsis and stuff we get, it seems like it's going to be the trio of Enoch and Fitzsimmons um, in future episodes, which I am hyped as fuck for. I can't wait to see that. Um, and yeah, Atara was interesting as well, it's like... I, I mean, you can completely understand that they want to save their world, um, but it is kind of a risky business with time travel, and it's kind of sad that they may not be able to save their world, but when you put Fitzsimmons through that shit, I don't feel sorry for you. Um, but I thought she was kind of an interesting obstacle for them. I did like it providing the chance for Enoch to kind of redeem himself, and, you know develop as a being almost, because he seems to be developing, you know, genuine affection for people that I don't think he ever has, and I love that development for Enoch as well, and I like that Atara kind of helped show that. 
and give him the chance to repent. So yeah, thought it was very interesting having like the Chronicles be explored more as a race. Um, yeah, I love the humour. Um, I just love that Fitzsimmons got a chance to like air their truths and find out everything. You know, Fitz found out at the very end about you know he has a grandson. Can't wait to see his reaction to that properly. Um, he found out that they got married. Found out that he died. Found out that Coulson died. Um, and Ian in those scenes. Um, phenomenal. Fuck. I, I'm six years of watching him on this show. And he still blows me away every episode. There's just little things he does. Um, acting choices. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to make notes of that. I'm going to be doing that in the future. Uh, if I ever met him one day, I would absolutely die. I'm hoping to. If he comes to Ultimates again next year. I was going to go to Ultimates in um, Birmingham this year. Um, but it clashed with me literally finishing my last week of uni. And I was fucking devastated. Um, I was there like crying at like midnight thinking, um, oh, this is the worst. Um, hopefully next year, if he goes next year, that'd be great. Um, I'd like to meet Liz too. And just like, hug them and never let go and get taken away by security probably. Maybe it's not the best idea. Um, oh my god, I'm in such a bloody tangent. What was I even talking about? Yeah, I love that they got to like talk about all their truths. Um, Fitz got to find out about everything that's going on. Seeing the trauma of that. Um, from Simmons was awful as well, but I loved that they kind of had these memories kind of spliced in and they could just talk through it even though they were still part of the memories, they were like just having their own conversations. I thought that was very well done, very well kind of staged and put together because it made it, you know, it made a lot of sense and you could follow what was going on really, really well. Um, and it made sense of the whole academy of things as well, which I'll talk a bit more about later, but <clears throat> when we first got like the promo, and we saw Fitz with that hair, and I was like, that doesn't look the best. Um, and I was like, how am I supposed to believe that they're playing, like, 16 or 17-year-old selves? Um, but in the context of the episode, it works, because it is them currently um, talking and stuff as they relive these, um, like, flashbacks. So it made a lot of sense. So I'm very happy that that was the case. Um, but yeah, I liked that. And then that big argument they had at the end completely destroyed my soul. But they needed to have that, they needed to have that talk. Uh, because I don't think they've ever really gotten that angry at each other before, I don't think. Um, but every couple fights. Uh, and yeah, like, let's talk about Will and Hive and Ada, um, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Fuck that reference. Um, everything with that. Um, I'm glad they kind of got all that out in the open and realised that, you know, they're each other's pains um, in the best and worst ways and they can move forward from that now and I loved that and I really feel like they tackled the whole thing with Fitz's mental health very well um, and that Gemma kind of you know from that experience in the devil complex um, she can help him through it a bit more now I think she I mean she's been through a lot of shit as well um, she needs help too um, but I feel like they're in a much healthier state of mind now than they were at this point in like season 5 if you understand what I mean by that um, so I'm hoping you know the Doctor may not be coming out to play anytime soon let's say that um, so I love that they really tackled that because mental health is such a big thing a big taboo um, so I loved that Fitz I think can heal in a better way than he was going to do in season 5 um, so that was great that they kind of tackled that and hopefully kind of start to move past it. I, I just loved how they addressed all of that thing. Um, child Gemma was adorable. Um, kind of, I don't know. As I said at the start, I was going back and forth, is that their kid? Is that child Gemma? Um, but I really liked it being child Gemma in the end. Um, it would have been interesting if it was their like, daughter, but I think it kind of made more sense in the context of what they were going for, that it was young Gemma. Um, I loved the sass, I loved the arguments that her and Fitz were having, I loved the storybook she had, um, I loved that she got so excited about seeing that, that science table when they all went back into the main room, that was wholesome. I adore her love of science so much. Um, so I loved that addition of her and the fact that she reduced herself to like a seven and a half year old um, because she didn't want to like, tell Fitz everything that had happened, um, I really liked that, that kind of shows that, you know, she's sort of a broken 
state of mind as well. Um, I just love that they were so completely honest with each other, um, maybe for the first time in a long time, about absolutely everything. I feel like that's such a healthy thing for them to do, and I'm so glad that they did that. Um, so yeah, getting a look at their kind of inner psyches and stuff, I thought it was done brilliantly and superbly, and acted superbly, written superbly. Um, and then the Academy flashbacks, oh my god, I've wanted Academy flashbacks for the longest time. And I loved the ones we got. I'd love to see them more. Um, and the fact that <laughs> she was like, you should see my room. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and I loved that um, that was kind of the moment Fitz was, became comfortable around her. Um, and the day she put him in the friend zone, that was funny. But he got out. He fucking got out. And he got out big time. Um, that was brilliant. I loved those flashbacks so, so much. And they got me very emotional to see kind of how they were and seeing them first meet Colson and be introduced to the group and like, oh my god, they've come so far. I love that those flashbacks kind of showcased how much they've developed and changed since then. I love that. And I love seeing proper Colson again, you know, like we did in the flashbacks in last week's episode, but I like seeing him here and the scene where he comes in to look at Fitz's body. <sighs> that scene was so sad but so stunning and beautiful. Um, I really struggled to get through that. That was that's one of the hardest things I've had to watch in a very long time um, seeing everyone grieving and going through that was awful and seeing Fitz kind of see everyone's reaction to that as well I hope that kind of makes him feel better though so I always feel like for a long time I feel like he doesn't think he's good enough to have the friends that he does and he might think oh they don't really like me sometimes I feel like he has a lot of self doubt about that kind of thing because he doesn't think he deserves Gemma I feel like he doesn't think he deserves all his friends as well um, but to see their reactions to his death. I feel like in a twisted and fucked up way that could maybe help him. Um, I don't think that's what they were trying to address at all. That's kind of what I took from it. Um, so that was interesting and I loved seeing Colson in that moment. Um, it was iconic, I loved it. And seeing the return of like those classic season one outfits they used to wear. Um, I miss those outfits so much. Uh, that was great. Um, and I loved that um, when they were like being tortured, um, both of them, psychically linked, tortured at the same time, had the idea at the same time, um, they brought their friends along and Max saved Fitz, Daisy saved Gemma. Um, I love that, that realisation that they weren't alone and they'll never be alone even when they ha have each other. They're still not alone because they have all their friends as well. Um, I think that, oh, that was so so badass and they both came in just, oh I could have watched that for days um, and that calling him turbo and oh hmm. um, I love that so much oh so well done uh, so I love that they kind of called on their friends to help them that, that was really really nice um, I'm going to be very interested in seeing um, how Daisy's going to be around Fitz when she actually full time gets him back because I have no doubt they'll get back to Earth somehow um, that would be quite something I think I can't wait for that um, and another thing where the fuck is Deke making main cast he's been in one out of six episodes hideous um, I'm sure we'll see him again very soon but I'm salty um, even though lemons are sweet I'm salty right now but it's okay in an episode like this, I get all the fit sins I fucking need, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, I've loved all the memories and stuff we were getting. Very well done, very well written, performed and put together. I love the set design. Um, the simplicity of that, that white room, then the couch and the desk. And I can't stop thinking about that food they were eating in the start. It looked delicious. I um, love a good cream tea. <laughs> And then finally, I suppose, um, we have the Doctor, and we have oh, fucked up Gemma, zombie Gemma, I don't know. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, nightmare Gemma, um, nightmare fuel Gemma, that's for sure. Um, they were both fantastic in those parts as well, weren't they? Oh my god. Um, it was cool them bringing the Doctor back for this purpose, because um, I don't want them to like, milk the idea of the Doctor. I don't want them to keep like bringing him back and back, even though Ian's phenomenal as the Doctor. Um, 
I'm glad that they brought him back for this reason and um the fact that he brought Painter Gemma and then the other the evil Nightmare Gemma kind of was bringing Painter Fitz I thought that was interesting because um they say at the end you know I, I didn't know pain until I met you and you know they were having pain caused by them and like the scene before by the other versions of themselves I really liked that and it's so true they didn't know pain before <laughs> I didn't know pain before Fitz Simmons so they definitely did too um, but yeah, it's cool having the Doctor back for that kind of whole thing and getting his ass kicked by Daisy. Iconic. Um, so I love how they kind of address that and Fitz can kind of deal with that and heal from that, I think, now. And yeah, Zombie Gemma was re a very interesting idea. I like that we learned a bit more about Gemma's childhood there with her dad telling her to lock all the things away in the music box. Um, I love that a lot. Um, it's like, oh, you keep all your bad nightmares in like a dream catcher or you put them in the closet and stuff. Um, I like that we got a bit of insight into her childhood like that and saw her childhood bedroom and stuff. Um, and saw the manifestation of that and I love that it was kind of a mix of loads of different things. Um, you know, her mother's outfit that she wore when she got stranded. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw like gold like paint rubbed on her forehead from like everything with Cassius last season. Um, and her teeth. She needs to go to the dentist. Um, the scariest thing um, was the all hygiene in this episode. Um, and how she was kind of shot like a horror movie villain at the time. And she was like trying to get at them in the cupboard. Oh my god. Um, so well directed this episode. I don't know who directed it, but they did a stand up job. Um, across the board, everything production wise and performance wise was just stellar. That's why this is. One of the best shows there is, and it sucks that um, people, you know, a lot of people didn't watch it. I don't, I just don't understand why. It's one of the greatest shows ever. Um, man, in terms of quality, it's my favourite show of all time, for sure. It's so consistently good. Um, but anyway, I digress. More people need to be able to watch actors this good, but it's fine. People have poor taste. Um, I'm such an arsehole. Yeah, but I liked how she was, you know, there's different, like, horror elements with, like, that weird version of Gemma. Um, and there's also, like, the happy moments later throughout and the funny moments. It's a very well-balanced episode in terms of that stuff. Um, and then the Doctor and, like, Nightmare Gemma hooking up. Oh, my God. No matter what form they take, Fitzsimmons are always meant to be together. Um, that was disturbing. I love that they just like stood there and just watched it for a minute. That was very funny. Um, hilarious. And they're engaged again. Over the moon. Oh, man. I hope we get another wedding. I know we probably don't need to see another wedding. Actually, no, we do need to see another wedding. It's what I deserve after keeping them apart for half a fucking season. Um, and killing him off last season. Rude. Um, but, man. Oh. There's a fucking moth then. Uh, yeah, that was a stunning episode from start to finish. I loved every second of it. Don't know how I'm going to edit it down, but I'm going to try. Um, I always watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as soon as I can. I stay up every week to watch it. Um, which normally means I go to bed about 6am, which isn't healthy. I know. Um, but, you know, it's always a Saturday the day after, so I just sleep in. It's no problem at all. Um, but this show deserves that kind of attention, I think. So, yeah. That was stunning. Ian and Liz are phenomenal. Fitz and Sims are phenomenal characters. I can't go over how much I love them and how great they are. I can never express it truly. Um, and yeah, that was a stunning episode. Um, and I can't believe we're like basically halfway through the season. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. Um, I imagine a lot of next week is going to be dealing with like Daisy finding out about Sarge and everything like that. And maybe dealing with them. Um, I did like that little scene near the end as well with Mac and Daisy and um, just talking things through. Um, Mac's so sweet, the fact that he was so happy that Fitz is alive. Um, I love their friendship so much. I'm glad they'd be able to like pack things up because they weren't on the best of terms in the end of last season really. Um, I'm glad they're going to have the chance to really work things out and obviously Fitz and Daisy. Um, so yeah, that scene at the end is very really nice with those two as well. Uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of blown away by that episode. Stunning. Just stunning. What a fucking great show. 
and a great cast and great characters and great writing and great production. Oh, season six. Yes, I agree. Do you agree? I agree. Um, yeah, I love this episode so, so much. I'm in awe. Um, it was everything I wanted, everything I feared in the best way. Uh, yeah. Just brilliant. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Hopefully the reaction will speak for itself when I actually get down to editing it now. But yeah, stunning episode to, you know, another stunning addition to a stunning show. And I'm very excited to see where they're going to take the rest of the season. Should be very interesting. Because um, even outside of the whole Fitzsimmons stuff, there's a lot of heartbreak with Sarge and May and Daisy and all that and their reactions to it. So the pain is far from over. But we all live for it, really. This was amazing. I'm blown away. I'm in awe. And until my next reaction... Thanks for watching.